Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're on the new dot files, and I've been working really hard. Why is that so small? That's so weird. There's always weird things going on. Um, the new dot files are designed from scratch. Nothing from the past, and um, we're doing this to end the bugginess and the weirdness, to sort of like get a better ground on how things should be built and uh well it's actually working out okay which is nice so let me introduce you to the new application menu which is basically edge to edge and just looks honestly amazing uh then we have the new settings menu which is brilliant by the way because wi-fi works bluetooth works if you hit scan that is and then there it goes Networking shows stuff, right? Uh, and wallpaper. These are the things that work, okay? And the reason it's so minimalistic at the moment is because, well, again, you're, when you start from scratch and you lose what you've had, you want to build it the best you can. Now, I got tired of the side menus. They're interesting, like the sidebars, but it's a really outdated, budgie type concept and it never works properly anywhere. Uh, there's a reason it didn't make it into Windows Vista, in case you guys don't know. Uh, Windows Vista originally was built off of Windows XP, and it had like this really cool sidebar where everything would take place. It didn't make it. That turned into Rain Meter instead, and that ended up looking really good. I think it was... or did that come with Windows 7? Either way, it got put off, because again, the whole idea of a sidebar is really dumb, and I don't like it. I never liked it to begin with, but here we are. So, um, as you can see, I've got plans, right? To integrate the power and everything in there. Right now, it's just, uh, there's nothing in there. Now, enable random wallpaper does work. You can change it from 30 seconds to whatever you want. I need to actually add a slider for this instead. Uh, your ratio is down there. It's currently messed up. And uh, if you have wall lust ins installed, I mean, I still have to look, hook, hook all of that up to where it changes the borders and everything and does all this stuff. But I want to get the basic stuff functioning before I jump into anything. I mean, the fact that I even got this working today was just a miracle for me. And I'm very, very happy about the way that it looks. It's nice and clean and everything like that. So... That's pretty nice. And look, it even tells you your username and that you're a system account. I will make it so that when we do add in user, wherever the hell that's going to be, I just noticed it doesn't exist. What is this? Is this supposed to be our audio panel? Why is it stuck on focus? Why are we in focus at all? I need to fix that. Ah. <laughs> uh... So, the reason I'm starting over. Building off of N4 was a bad idea. It got me to where I wanted to be, but N4 does things visually that I don't like. Uh, there's a bunch of weeb stuff. There was a bunch of whole bunch of AI crap that never made any sense. There was this weird homework folder where they hide their porn, which is absolutely weird. Uh, and, they're, and, and they're just not... The nicest people they shit on other people's design choices and just got tired of it it's like why am i utilizing your stuff when you're not like basically their design layout and everything that they do it doesn't fit who i am and i can change it to meet who i am but there's just too much underlining crap to really work on things uh, there was a ton of hacks all over the place and I didn't like it so starting again means I get to get rid of all the hacks and finally focus on what made me me versus well whoever the hell they were clearly lonely but that's just you know I guess at this point too much porn it just it makes you wonder about people you know it's actually work USB audio device HDMI audio output interesting but again uh definitely needs work now i wanted to get into a better state before i ended up showing this to you to where things were actually functioning and i did that and i'm happy 
And I'm gonna go continue work on it now. Yeah. But I'm glad that uh, we're at the point where things are actually functioning now. You also may notice that this exists. You notice how it spins? I thought that would be really, really cool, the fact that it spins. Hopefully it was. But yeah, that's that's permanently on the dock. I like the fact that there's a settings button there and it cannot be moved. And it's not going to be moved for the specific reason. It's because that's where settings should always be. And um, I don't really have anywhere to put it. Like, I don't want to have to have a settings icon up here and then click and be like, yeah, I'd rather the settings just be on the dock. It just makes more sense. Do you see the notice of the animation? <laughs> I like that. There's animations when switching as well. These don't work. I have to fix those, but yeah. That's pretty nice. And it doesn't always pop up, like, the network and stuff. If I open it too many times, it just ends up being like, nope, and then it comes back. Alright, so I clearly need to go fix this. This is just too damn small, so... Um... Where is visual code at? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Good, 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 good. So I'm going to show you the current layout of the project at the moment, because I think that would be a good idea so you can get the gist of what I've done and how I've started. Uh, I started to attempt to do stuff, I guess, with Quickshell in videos. Then I realized how annoying it it, it it is and how annoying it got. So it was kind of like, okay, I, I can't do these anymore because every time I try to keep something nice and tidy, I end up losing my focus. So I kind of scrapped all that, you know? But it seemed to have gotten people in a position where they started with Quickshell as well. I think it's this one? No, it's an automatic formatter. Is it this one? Yeah, let's just install this one. Hope for the best. Yeah, that should do it. System tray. Yes, this is the one. Uh, but yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, look at that. There's animations on hover. That's good. And I think it's right here that I need to make it a little bit bigger. Right here. Delegate item. Let's try 32 by 32. That's not changing anything. I don't even know what the point of that one was. I'll figure it out eventually. It's the image. Oh, it's right here. No, I do not want it at 124. I said 24. Uh... By 24. Oh, that made it bigger. Nice. So let's try 32. 32. And it breaks. So there's clearly some constraints. Probably within here. Let's change this to 40. To 40. Yep. So there was constraints. Nice. That looks much better. That's much bigger, though. Let's change this back to 24. 24. Yep. Next. Nice. So yeah, just working on the project is fun. Uh, I was said I was going to show you everything, so uh, this is the layout. Actually, let's do it this way. Uh, open containing folder. Let's do it this way, okay? So this is the layout. Inside here are the assets from the old thing because, well, they're very useful and I plan on integrating this soon. And there's no point in throwing away good stuff. Modules, there's bar. And as you can see inside, there's components. And these are all the components that make it up. So indicator, time, system tray, workspaces, and button. Uh, and then there's other stuff. There's the indicators and the workspaces. I need to move them in there. I'm going to do that here soon. Uh... Script is for wallpaper. I don't think I need it no more. Services. So there's the wallpaper right there. Settings. Right. And uh, widgets. Now, this is the really, really cool part. Check that out. Look how clean the dock is. Look at that. I got it separated into all of its components. This is where all the settings are taking place and everything like that. 
it's honestly great. I love it. Like how everything is being handled is fantastic. I'm going to try to keep it as clean as I possibly can. That's why it's called the reborn project because I'm taking my configs and I'm, uh, they're basically just being started from scratch. So if you want to help me, you'll find the GitHub in the repo below. I need help with all of these settings. Well, some of them aren't here right now and I don't understand what the health focus is and we need to get rid of it. But I want like everything in here to have its own settings eventually. So the dock, the bar, you name it, right? And if you know Quickshell, you want to actually assist me and help me out, let me know because it's very, very important. Anyone can join in, all right? If you if you just started learning, uh, you know, feel free. As long as something works when you push it and you push it to the right uh, branch, we're good, right? I'll bring it down, I'll test it, and I'll see if it works, okay? Like, I need some help on this because I want to make this something good. And, um... Oh man, there's so many people out there that are like this. Have you ever run across someone who thinks everything is bloat? Fingers didn't work there for a second. Where they're like, oh, uh, some people don't have Wi-Fi, so it shouldn't be there. Some people don't have Bluetooth. It shouldn't be there. That's bloat. Those people were dropped on their head as babies. See this? You see the reason it's there? It's there because people do have it. More people have it than don't have it. That's a thing now. More people have Bluetooth than people that don't have Bluetooth because Bluetooth is literally integrated into every device that we have these days. It's one of the most common items you'll see in a laptop, a desktop, motherboards these days have it built on. And they're like, uh, if you don't have it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't show up. Why? Every other desktop environment has it showing up and it's not bloat. It's basically showing, hey, if you added Bluetooth, at least you'll have support. I mean, isn't that what everybody wants? Support? You know? It shouldn't be turned off just because one clown wants to make an observation that doesn't match reality. And it's like, it's stupid people like that that just... It, I started today really good. Like, I was really happy and energetic and I was going to get things done. And then you come across a dumbass like that and you're just thinking to yourself, Ugh, why? Why do people like this exist? I am building these for me first and foremost, okay? And once they're built, suggestions can be added. Like, I'll, I don't mind, we'll open up discussions, cool. But removing functionality is not one of the things that's gonna happen, okay? Especially not Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or the networking. That's just not a thing, right? I wanna actually have a usable environment. I got tired of GNOME, I got tired of the bugs in KDE, and there are bugs, there are deniers of these bugs. It's like a cult, I swear to God. Why are people in cults always the lowest IQ people in the world? They're like the deniers of reality. I'm rambling now. I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to go before I end up getting myself in trouble by some, I don't know, mentally disturbed person that should be on medication but isn't. Take your meds, people. They're important. But yeah, Wi-Fi is good. Bluetooth is good. Wallpaper is good. Displays. Hmm. Uh, we're going to tackle... I think I'm going to tackle desktop and dock next. Yeah, desktop and dock are going to cover the bar and the dock. And I want to integrate settings early so that I don't have to mess with them later on. Hopefully I can get a clean look and layout this time. Because that looks brilliant. Look at that. Like, I love this. This looks great. Like, look at that. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Hopefully a better day than I'm having. I think I'm going to go for a walk. Uh <sighs> I forgot to close the settings.